Hello, my name is Kelly Antone, Siemens HMI and SCADA specialist with PCC. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to configure a multi-language application on the Siemens Comfort Panel. The first thing that we need to do is go to our project tree, and then we need to locate the area that's called Languages and Resources, and we'll expand that out. Then we need to enable the language in our project. So what we'll do is we'll select Project Languages by double-clicking on it. And for this application, what we're going to do is just select Spanish Mexico. You know, there's very, you know, variations of Spanish, but I'm going to pick Spanish Mexico. So that now I've added that language into my application. Once I add the language into the application, the next thing I need to do is go up by my panel and then look for the runtime settings and double-click on runtime settings. Then what you will have here is for the runtime language and font you will have to enable the language that you just added because it's possible to configure or add many languages in your application but unless you enable it here it's not going to be downloaded to the panel. It is possible to add in your own additional fonts if you'd like. I'm just going to use all the defaults you know, at this point in time but it is possible to add additional fonts you know, for your language. So once I have that set what I'm going to do is go back to my screens and I'm going to open up my home screen where I've got uh, a text object and a push button object. So the text object, this is going to be the object that we're going to change the text on. So when I select on the actual text object and look at the properties for this text, there is the option here to enter in your text. You know, so right now we're in the English language. Um, but what I can do is I can select the text tab. And then here, you have the ability to enter in your English text. You can also enter in your Spanish text. To make this real easy, I'm just going to say SP for Spanish, and I'm going to put in the text, all right? you know, just so that we can see that. So now um, I've got, for this text object, I have the English text, and I also have the Spanish text that's available. So what I'll do next is go over to the task cards, and then under task cards, you'll see something called languages and resources. And when we bring that up, we've got the actual editing language here. So I can select the drop down because I added Spanish Mexico and I can select that. So now all of my text would change. And because I added in this text here as SP text for Spanish text, that shows up. I can switch my language back to English and then all of my original text would be back in the application. So if I look at the push button object here, and I look at the text tab here, the same thing. I've got my English text, you know, for the off state and for the on state. So what I could do is, you know, say that this is going to be, you know, SB toggle oops, language. And then I can also do the same thing here, SB toggle language for the different states. So you know, for every spot where you have text, you'll have this additional column. Now, once you um, have your text entered, your multi-language text, we can go back to the events area. And on the press event, what I'll do is I'll select add function, and then I'll select a drop down here. And then there's a settings category. Under settings, there's an option for set language. For setting the language, you have choices here. You can actually um, you know, do a toggle, so every time you press a button, you'll cycle through the different languages that are enabled in the project, okay? Or you can, you know, pick a specific, you know, runtime language that you want to set. I'm just going to leave it as a toggle, so each time I press this button, I will toggle between Spanish and English. Now, the other thing that you can do is in the project tree, uh, when you go down into your project's text area, you will have a column for all of your English text and you will have a column for your Spanish text. So you can come in and enter you know, translations in this area as well. So here was some of the text that I entered in, you know, the English text and my Spanish text, etc. So you can do that. You also have tools up above so you can uh, export all of your project's text so then you can send them out to a translator, or you can select the import option to be able to import all of your text. It makes the most sense if you're going to do the import-export when you're at the end of your project, do your export, then you know, bring them back in uh, and do your import you know, at the end of your project. So what I will do next is I will highlight my comfort panel. I will start my simulation. This will start compiling my project. Start the runtime. So now I'm in the English language right now, but if I press this toggle button, okay, it changes, and now my text you know, changes to the Spanish text. 
and I can switch back. So in this lesson, I showed you how to quickly implement a multi-language project.